Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins. We're hunting through, looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally the two commemorative uh, £2 coins we still need to fill the book. They're not easy ones to come by though, Northern Ireland Commonwealth Games being the rarest circulating commemorative £2 coin, and Scotland being another scarce one to find. We have got all the other commemoratives though, up to and including the Great Fire of London with a space for the 2021 Definitive Britannia. If it ever goes into circulation, I'm determined to get it in one of my books, but uh, it does seem more likely we'll find one of these two before we'll find that Britannia because there have been so many of us looking for one for so long. But let's get into this bag and see what we do find. Okay then, into bag number one. Uh, so that is the definitive design up to 2015, technology design. Some are lower minted than others in certain years, it's just not low enough that I think that they're worth uh, looking out for or keeping. Not that you shouldn't do that, I do I do as well have a date run of all the technologies years. Um, but you're just likely to, especially in a £500 bag, to at least find one of each of the uh, circulating years of it so I don't think they're worth keeping. Our first commemorative is the wireless transmission Marconi. Oh followed swiftly by a second DNA double helix both of them are very common coins though but uh, I do really like the DNA coin it's such a lovely design on it. Intricate uh, pieces of artwork so we've got some on the board there's a third. Florence Nightingale again one of my favorite circulating designs even if it is a common one. Otherwise, I think that's it for that bag. That was a generous bag, wasn't it? Three in that rather than none in the first. Ooh, that's a very nice one. London Underground Roundel. We've got counters tracking some of the coins we find, some of the common ones, some uncommon ones. This is sort of a versus between the roundel and the train. And we got to flying start with these. In the first few videos of this book, we found tons of them. I say tons, I say, it was a fair few of them. <laughs> it wasn't tons. But in c considering how scarce that they are, there was quite a number of them. But that's our first one over face value. I'll tell you what we'll do now, because uh, I don't want to forget to do it. We'll do an edge hunt. Two pound coins are the last circulating uh, denomination with an edge inscription that's unique to each design. If it says shoulder, standing on the shoulders of giants, we know it's a technology. But this one here, wireless bridges of the Atlantic, should be uh, wireless transmission again. Which it is. So yeah, that one is all fine. Any more for any more? We've got the shoulders standing on the shoulders. Shoulders of shoulders giants. Shoulders. Shoulders. The shoulders. I think these are all technology. We'll just double double check. Just to make sure I haven't been stupid and missed an edge inscription which I had. So there we go. But no, it's always nice to find an exciting coin through the edge hunts. We found the last Commonwealth Games uh, £2 coin during an edge hunt. There we go. The VE Day Anniversary. Very common coin. And as I keep saying, I would love to find an NIFC £2 coin, a coin not intended for circulation via an edge hunt. Because although I'm very good on my £2 coin edge inscriptions for the circulating designs, I just, just through practice, finding them and seeing them. Um, whereas the NIFCs naturally they're not in circulation I haven't found any well I've I found one NIFC two pound coin uh, right Britannia uh, first minted as the definitive design in 2015 low minted year 2015 it was then followed up by more in 2016 and then none none have been created until 2021 where six million were minted what year is this one then 2016 so there we go still a keeper over face value by smidge I do wonder if you're the first one to find a 2021 Britannia £2 coin and you stick it onto eBay, what would that potentially sell for? Oh, we've got Charles Dickens there. Very common. Uh, only because I know when, when coins first come out, there's that desire to get it, to have it, and people will pay more than what later they would later. For instance, um, oh, hang on, that's going to be something. Another Charles Dickens. Uh, back in 2017 when the Beatrix Potters came out, they were selling for decent chunks of money. 
um, at that point. But uh, obviously now we know how common they are, uh, you're lucky to get anything over 50p for them, because as I said you can find so many of them out in change. Um, the first 2021 Britannia, we've been waiting for a while for it. Got Trinity House there, another fairly common design. I guess the only downside to that would be that 2021 annual coin sets did include the 2021 Britannia £2 coin, so there are some out there, so it's not the only way to get them. Well, the Abolition of the Slave Trade, worth double checking on this one, because as you can see this coin has got a textured finish on the inner part of the coin. Uh, there's a variant which has a smooth finish and the initials DG to the bottom right of the 7. So one to keep your eyes peeled for and there's another Florence Nightingale there so yeah I guess I guess the when it circulates it's not gonna be the only way to have had the 2021 two pound Britannia in your collection which might erase some of the value but I'll be fascinated to know what people can list Wow there we go we've got a little uh, tube spectacular today we've got the train here matching with the roundel we found earlier put them next to each other and there we have Shakespeare's Tragedies, one of three Shakespeare £2 coins. This is the middle of the road one, it's not the rarest, but it's not the most common. But do check your edge inscriptions, 2016 seems to be a bad year for the mint. Uh, what a piece of work as a man is exactly what the edge inscription should be on this coin. We have in the past found one that said for king and country. And there are ever more rumours of other 2016 uh, £2 coins having erroneous edge inscriptions be found so at the end of the video I will check through all the commemoratives checking for the edge inscriptions just in case there's any other errors we might well we might not already know about a uh, VE day anniversary again well, there's not a lot from that bag but uh, inevitably people are going to start commenting when are you going to give up on this book and start a new book I've definitely got to get the Scotland before I do that hopefully we'll get the Northern Ireland but uh the Scotland definitely will have to be filled first. I don't mind drawing a conclusion to a book with just the rarest coin left to find because that can seem like a bit of a unscalable summit. But whilst we've still got the Scotland in contention, which I know is still a rare coin and it would be a lovely coin to find, I am determined to keep going. Now, I've said before that uh, if I started a new book on the next video, all I'd be doing is looking through the same coins as I would be, just putting different ones in the book. Right, Bruno's achievements, arches at Paddington Station. And there's another VE Day anniversary just showing just how common they are. There we go. But anyway, we've had some uh, interesting news through Royal Proclamation. Um, came out a while ago. Uh, new coins coming out. James Bond coin again. Um, it's hard to tell what that coin actually is. I think it's celebrating Bond in the 60s. So potentially room for another coin later on. Uh, Bond of the 70s, 80s, 90s. Da, 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 da. Uh, this can be something. Oh, it's the Golden Guinea. Very nice find. It's a smidge over face value. Not enormously so, but a lovely coin nonetheless. Um, some things we knew were coming out, the Royal Tudor Beast, Tudor Dragon, the and the, the uh, Year of the Dragon, five pound coin, which again I imagine will come out at the end of the year. Um, so those ones we kind of knew were going to happen anyway because they are continuing long running collections. There's a Rugby World Cup there, another common design, and another wireless transmission. But no, some surprises. The one I'm most intrigued about is the one that's uh, described as being a, a lion and an eagle. It might just turn out to be a standard just bullion coin, a bit like the Royal Arms has been in the past, but it could be something more exciting than that. Um, although, the eagle's an interesting one because there aren't sort of, as far as I could find, many sort of heraldic eagles in British culture. There's uh, Charles Dickens there. So maybe a pairing of celebrating the UK and the USA maybe as a bullion coin. Another Charles Dickens there. I think it'd be quite cool. 
I think it would be quite cool if uh, the raw mints paired up with some other uh, mints to make some coins. I know they have, sure they have, they've done sets in the past with uh, other foreign coin mints, but uh, I think that'd be kind of neat. Oh, there we go. Guy Fawkes. Another very, very common coin. We have got some on the bottom row, so it's not a total washout. In fact, we've got quite a few down there, so we can't grumble at these results with a few more bags to go. Let's do another edge hunt. Whilst I'm thinking about it. Right. Standing, shoulders, giants, of giants, standing, of giants, shoulders, giants, of giants, shoulders. Dear. I don't think we've got anything here. Simply a case of the diddlies. I think we can try one more, right? We've got a couple more bags to go off this one, so we'll do one more edge hunt before we return. I always get a little bit stubborn, I want to find something on an edge hunt. Uh, right, uh, I see the word crown there, so that would be Shakespeare's histories. There we go, so we know that edge inscription is correct for that one, so we won't double check that one. Uh, any more for any more? Uh, duh, 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 duh. Don't think so. Just the one, but at least we found one. It's a coin that holds a smidge over face value, so there's a little bonus for you. Pet ultimate bag then. It's not over till the last bag's been finished. Oh, Lord Kitchener. So, Lord Kitchener is a fairly common coin. There's, you shouldn't have too many, too many uh, troubles getting your hands on one, but there's a variant of this coin. On the obverse, the side with the Queen's head, or now King's head, it should say two pounds, which on this one it does, but the wrong die was used for this side of the coin, or this side of the coin, so they don't match up, so it's a mule error. Uh, that is a very rare and valuable coin, although I do know some people who have come across them, so whilst you've got a Lord Kitchener, you might as well check. Well then, last bag of the hunt. As ever, links are in the description to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come over there and join us on that. There's another Rugby World Cup there. Uh, there's also links to my other social media channels, the address of my peer box should you wish to write in to me, and of course links to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel who I work for as my day job making videos for them, so please do check that out as well. Uh, I'm going to check the coins through now to see whether there are any errors I might have missed. Well then unfortunately no errors to be added to our roster of finds, nothing new for the book, but a nice variety of different coins it has to be said. In terms of our star finds though, um, I hope it may be one of these three. But as ever, let me know in the comments what your favourite coin from today's video is and all it leaves me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.